Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Courtney. And I'm Teddy, and in this video, we have seven fragrances laid out in front of us. And what we're gonna be doing is having you react to these seven fragrances. All I'm gonna tell you is that they are fragrances for men. Okay. And most of them, I do not believe that you've smelled before because I purchased quite a few of these. Ooh. So these are gonna be your just blind reaction take to some of these fragrances. So if you've not seen these before, what we do, spray these fragrances about 15, 20 minutes before, at least in this instance, that's what I did. Put them inside these baggies. You're gonna go ahead and react to each one of them. And at the end, favorite, least favorite, she's not gonna see the branding or anything affiliated with that. Uh, so I wanna get kind of more of an honest take of these fragrances. So okay. whenever you're ready, Courtney, you can be, begin with number one. All right, everybody, before we jump in here, we have a very exciting announcement. So we just launched a new segment of our website where we have fragrances for sale, but not just any fragrances, some amazing fragrances that we're very just proud of, we love. These were hand curated by us, uh, fragrances that we wear, but also fragrances that I think were also in alignment with what I think many of you guys would like as well. Yeah, these are world-class brands that we're working with. We are so excited. We have brands like Amouage, Floris, Zerzhoff, and several other incredible brands that we know that you guys will love, that we love too. Check them out in the description down below. We'll have a link to the site where you can just shop around, look at more things. And also for your first order, definitely use promo code first order at checkout so you can get a discount off your first purchase. Any purchase helps the channel, helps us bring more content to you. I um, really would appreciate that as well. But guys, let's get back to the video. Number one. Okay. Masculine, mature, green, very green. It's giving kind of, um, the fougere elements, maybe okay. some lavender. It just smells like a clean guy that splashed on some aftershave. Kind of pine-like. Um, it's fresh. It's similar to uh, like a, a David off Cool Water maybe, or okay. like um, Green Irish Tweed. How it's just that kind of fresh, you know, masculine morning type of scent. Okay. Yeah, okay, good. I like that one. Off to a good start. It's it's a bit mature, I will say that. So would, so would you like that on a guy? or? Yeah, it depends on the guy who's wearing it. You know, I picture someone who is either maybe a little bit older or a younger guy who maybe, you know, dresses really nice. Maybe he's dressing like a gentleman. He's putting on a suit or a button-up every morning. Number two. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's a reaction. It's very smoky. Okay. My mom has like a million essential oils and so every time I go home I smell them and it smells like that mixed with like an incense burner. Yeah, this one is less uh, like basic or generic I would say. Like I'm trying to think of a fragrance I've smelled before that smells similar to this one and I nothing is really coming to mind. So it's definitely different. I can't tell if this is affordable or expensive. Yeah, um, not my favorite just because I'm not a super spicy type of gal, but I could see this working on someone. Okay. Not my favorite though. Not your favorite? No. Okay, number three. Ooh, ooh yeah, I like this one. It's, um, there's some citrus in there, but it also has a hint of creaminess to it. Maybe like a vanilla. I love that one. I think that's actually my favorite so far. Um, it's just like kind of fresh, but also has this little something in there, like the vanilla, uh, that makes it a little bit more interesting. So I really like that one. Do you, so that's your favorite so far? Yeah. By, by like a wide margin? Or? Yeah, I would say. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. These have all been extremely different. Okay. Like, n so it's kind of fun to compare them. That's good. Um, but yeah, my favorite so far. Okay. Number four. Strange. Do you like it or no? Not really. It smells old. By old, what do you mean? I mean, uh, a little bit, <laughs> sorry. Um, it kind of smells like when you, <laughs> this is very specific, but like when you're touring houses, like the basement, like an unfinished basement. <laughs> um, okay. Kind of musky, like it just smells like. It's got asbestos. It's That's been, been a, <laughs> mold, no. It smells like it's been around for a while. Like it's, it's, Hanging on for dear life. I don't know. I don't, I'm not so much a fan of this. Again, it's very uh, maybe oak moss. It's it's the oak moss lavender type of vibe, but not in the way that number one did it. I think number one was a more refreshing type of like masculine, fresh lavender uh, kind of scent. But this one just smells a little bit dated to me. Like this might be an old one that you're throwing in here. Who knows? I don't know, but not my favorite. Okay. I don't love it. All right, 
Let's move on to number five. Ooh, it's kind of faint. But it's also very masculine. Refreshing. What is that? It kind of smells um, like marine or fresh. Uh, definitely not sweet. But it's nice. I think it's inoffensive. I like it. Like it? Yeah. Okay. Number six, Courtney. Ooh. This one is sweeter. It reminds me of Lamel a little bit. Mm hmm. Yeah, it smells a lot like that. A little sweet, masculine. Um, it kind of smells like Prada Luna Rosa Sport. I know I com compared that one to Lamal, and they all kind of smell similar. Is this like, okay, so you made that comparison, so you're getting like- Maybe like a, um, like a lavender vanilla, a little mint maybe. I don't know, it's, it's I love Lamal, and so anytime I smell something that's similar, I, I tend to really like it. So, the, yeah, because you've, every single time I've thrown something in front of you with, when you describe it as that, it reminds you of something like that, you've liked it. Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to disclose too much, but you're on the money yeah. into that right now. Yeah, that's exactly what it smells like to me. So, yeah, I like that one. It smells good. All right, last one. Here we go. Whoa. I don't know. Some weird what faces the happening. Heck? It smells like when, um, I don't know <laughs> if they still even make this, but, you know those packs of Big League Chew? Yes. It smells like when you first open the pack of Big League Chew, like it's kind of powdery, it has a subtle sweetness to it, and it just smells artificial. Okay. <laughs> like tons of artificial flavors. Wow, that's strange. I don't even know what's in that, but it smells a little bit mature, I would say. Strange. If you had to classify that, is there another fragrance on, on here that it smells similar to, or is it, is it kind of, of a specific genre that you're picking up, or is there any other notes that you're trying to identify? Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Okay. That's kind but of strange. Do, do, do you like it or no? Not your favorite? Not my favorite. It's not bad. It's kind of middle of the road for me. Okay. Okay. All right, so we have seven we've gone through. Mm -hmm. Now what I'd like you to do is take a moment. People don't have to see you smell all of these again, but yeah. give you a moment Hear me to, sniffing yeah, for 10 minutes. Smell them all again, and then I'll let you put them in order, okay. and then I will go grab the bottles, and I'll start to reveal them as okay. you go through them. Cool. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Okay, so I familiarize myself with the number. Let's start with your least favorite first. Okay. So your number four is your least favorite. This is Paul Sebastian Cologne here. Okay. A little more old school, so you were actually kind of on point. Uh, I think you also noted some of the notes in there. But, okay. Uh, more kind of classic aromatic fragrance, mm -hmm. you know, aftershave kind of approach. So, yeah. it did smell a little bit um, outdated. Okay. I can kind of see what. Can I smell it just in the bottle? Uh, sure. This is a, a dropper too. Yeah. Be careful with that. Ooh, yeah. I actually don't mind that fragrance. Did I say it smelled like a basement? Uh, one of these you did, I okay. can't remember, but maybe it was that one. Okay, so then moving up to number three, your favorite. Yeah. This is Perry Ellis oh. 360 White. You know what? I have liked every single Perry Ellis that I've ever smelled. I don't They're, know what that says about me. Do I have cheap taste? I don't know, but the red one I really like, 360. Red, yep. And then what's this one called? 360 White. Oh, okay, easy enough. Yep, and you yeah. were right about the vanilla and then I actually like this one too. And I yeah. first, um, I wanted to try that one uh, just because of the combination of citrus and vanilla. So mm -hmm. cool. I thing. always like when they combine the citrus with the vanilla, like Bergamotto di Positano. Sure. That's like obviously a nicer one, but I do like that kind of creaminess that it adds. Yes, I do too. Okay, so then you had number five. Yeah. Uh, number five was kind oh. of cold black. I actually had like when I was in high school or maybe college, it was like kind of cold black. I, mean, I think it was vintage. I had kind of cold black vintage. That was yeah, one of the I mean, fragrances I had. That's nice. It's, you know, a nice, safe fragrance, I think. I would say probably out of all of these might be the most easy to wear. Yeah. Uh, cl maybe classic contemporary masculine, mm -hmm. at least by that type of definition. I could see this one being very versatile too. Like I don't picture a certain age when I smell this one. I think it could work mm -hmm. for a lot of different people, especially if you're looking for like a one do it all mm -hmm. type of fragrance. Like I could see this one working in the summer or even like the fall or something like that. So 
Yeah, I like that one. Okay, and then I'm gonna go through these a little bit quicker. Okay. It seemed like those are those distant. I would say I actually liked number six and number one. Okay, number these six. were kind of like far off for me. Okay. So some cheapies here. Number six. <laughs> this is cute. This Wait is cute. Gold. Yeah, yeah. It's a cigar. Oh. Oh, it's very sweet. You know, it kind of reminds me of um, Paco Rabanne, One Million. It a does. I, I can I can see what you're talking about. Just the sweetness, I think, to it. But I I don't know why I always like these, especially when I'm in like the blind kind of reactions. Mm -hmm. I always tend to choose ones that are kind of like this towards the beginning. That. I smelled all these before handing them to you. Yeah. This smells better on the stick than I think it does on, on the actual person, I'll say. All right. And then your other one, you have two cheaps in the middle, oh. and this is Aspen Cody. So that is classic fragrance. Uh, mm -hmm. You were very much on point with the David Off comment. Okay. And I think it's it's like under $10 for that or something like that. It, it's wow, very okay. affordable. Yeah, so. that's that was nice. It kind of reminded me of Green Irish Tweed a little bit. Then next you have Halston Z14. This is another classic fragrance. Okay. Um, very earthy, warm, spicy type of fragrance. That one kind of threw you for a loop there. Yeah, that one's strange. Mm -hmm. This is Bentley Absolute, so. Okay. Frankincense is a note in that, so maybe that's why you're saying. My her. mom has that essential oil. Okay. It reminded me of something. I couldn't pinpoint exactly what it was, but I mean, my mom has a million, and it reminded me of that one. She uses that a lot. I, I think that one smells the most expensive out of anything on the list, but. I actually agree with some of your picks here. I like your Perrielis pick. I think that's a fine fragrance. Yeah. I would have put Aspen, and I probably would've, I would have moved this down, perhaps almost to last place for me. Um, yeah. it, I, I just don't like that fragrance as much. Yeah. It's a little. Well, it's a good thing I blind reacted because I think I would have changed my mind if I saw this. So you know that's just another reason why you do the the blind reactions. Goes to show. That's why you have to do it. And I like Aspen, uh, Cody. I, I think it's... It's just like a nice masculine, you know, aftershave type of smell. Yeah. So. Performance absolutely sucks. That's, there's no nice way to put it. Well, but for $10, what do you expect? Exactly. Just overspray the hell out of it and just have some fun. So, yeah. all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell icon. Really would appreciate that. Also, follow us on Instagram. See some great photos of different bottles. Get some inspiration for your next signature scent. And also interact with us a little bit more personally over there. Guys, thank you again so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.